everyone and welcome back. My name is Cassie Essery and this is Learn With Us. Today we're going to be talking all about being sick. I know, it's the worst. But being a teacher, it's pretty inevitable that you will be sick at least a few times during the school year. And that doesn't mean like sick, you're out for days upon end. This is the sick that you wake up in the morning and your throat hurts, you have a cough, it's that kind of sick where it's not enough to get a sub, but it's gonna make your day pretty difficult. So I'm going to be giving you some tips that I've picked up that have really helped me survive the day. That's really how it feels, like you're surviving. So I hope you really like this, and if you do, make sure to subscribe down below for more videos like this. So the first survival tip is be comfortable, okay? It's all about making it through the day and you do not want to be wearing really tight, uncomfortable clothing. You need to be comfortable. So wear something loose, maybe not a sweatshirt because it's not exactly professional, but something comfortable. Throw your hair up, doesn't really matter how you look. I mean, try not to look like you're dying because you're not, but wear something comfortable so that you can make it through the day without tearing your kids' heads off. You know what I mean. My second tip is bring something with a straw so that you are drinking water all throughout the day. Seriously, hydration is so important. So bring something with a straw. I mean, at least for me, it really helps me to drink a lot more water during the day. So if you're not feeling well, you definitely need to be drinking more water. So if this helps you, bring something with a straw. Along with staying hydrated, something that I put in my water is this elderberry extract. If you didn't know, elderberry is really, really good for helping your immunity. And so I just put a few squirts of this in my water throughout the day and it's pretty amazing. Even the night before, if I feel a little bit of a sore throat, if I drink some of this before bed, I often wake up feeling so much better. So it's just a little bottle like this, take a dropper, Squirt, squirt, magical. One more tip in the morning, if your throat is hurting, eat some oatmeal. If people take baths to soothe their inflamed skin with oatmeal, you bet it's gonna work on your throat. Seriously, it is amazing. Game changer. Now when I'm feeling crummy, I do not wanna pack a lunch. And I frankly usually don't want to eat. <laughs> Something that I do is I take a little bouillon cube, like these. They have different flavors like beef, vegetable, maybe chicken, and I just heat up some water at work with a mug and I drop it in and dissolve it, stir it around, and there you have some broth to drink at work. Broth is really healing and this is really easy. So it's a really nice alternative to packing a lunch, especially on a day when you don't feel well. Why not pack something that's gonna make you feel better? Okay, so now it's time for the actual teaching part. By teaching, I mean let the kids be the teachers. I don't know about you, but my kids love, 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 love to play teacher. And this is a perfect opportunity for them to practice retelling what they've learned, retelling stories, explaining games. We know that them teaching actually helps them learn the content better. So why not use that to your advantage when you really are struggling to be the teacher? Let them be the teacher. It's still really beneficial for them and it saves you a little bit of hassle. You can have a couple teachers explain how to play games, how to do activities. They can practice reading in front of the class, pretending to be the teacher. There is all sorts of things that they can do to be the teacher and teach for you and it's still really helping them learn. It's actually kind of awesome. Another way to get out of talking but still have the kids be learning is one of my favorite things, Storyline Online. If you have not heard of Storyline Online, you're welcome. Oh my goodness, it is awesome, okay? Even my fourth graders last year really liked to listen to these books. It's a website from the SAG After Foundation that has a bunch of celebrities reading books and often they're a little bit extra animated so it feels like they're watching 
a movie, kind of, but someone is actually reading the book and they talk about it. You can turn the captions on so the kids are still reading the book, but you're not reading them the book. So it saves your voice and gives them a story. Let me show you how it works. So all you have to do is Google Storyline Online and you instantly have access to tons of books. When you click on all books, then you can see not only the grade levels that they're appropriate for, but also the duration of the video. So if you only have time for maybe a really short one, you can see which ones are only going to take a couple of minutes. Along those lines, YouTube is fabulous for finding books that are read by other people. So you don't have to read them and you can find ones that are specific to what you've been learning or practicing or whatever. You can pretty much type in any story, read aloud, and it will come up. Pretty awesome. So that's it. I hope this video helps you. I know this is sick season, but sometimes we just can't get a sub or we're not really sick enough to get a substitute. So we kind of have to just make it work. So I hope this really helped you. And if you liked it or you'd like to see more videos about teaching and surviving, <laughs> then subscribe down below. Please comment also some of your favorite things that get you through the day when you're not feeling well because I, seriously, I get sick quite a lot. So please let me know if you have any other tips that get you through the day. Teachers helping teachers. That's what this is all about, so help a teacher out. If you liked this video or you'd like to see more videos about teaching and real life meeting, please subscribe down below. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you next Tuesday. Bye.